Hello again everyone, welcome back to Landric Plays Banished, and I think this is going to be the last episode in our beautiful city of Mulgrom, because, you know, we've got to, well, over 500 people now, in fact, substantially over 500 people, we've built basically everywhere we can, there's, we've still got a couple of little areas that we could expand to, like down here maybe, but there's not a whole lot of room left for us to do anything interesting with, we even built the crazy, crazy little bridge. Um, is it the little bridge? No, the huge bridge. Best bridge. We're best at building bridges we are. So, we might come back to this uh, another time. I don't know whether we'll sort of pick up this city, or maybe we'll try one of the mods. There is uh, one particular mod for Banish that is sort of uh, quite popular. I think it's called the Colonial Expansion mod, and basically that just adds a whole extra bunch of sort of resources and production chains and things like that. But as it stands, our city has grown quite nicely to the stage where there's not really a lot else we can do with it. I mean, obviously we can put down a million more quarries to just sort of keep our 74 idle labourers busy, but there wouldn't really be a lot of point. We don't need the stone or the iron for anything. Uh, I guess we'll keep fleshing out this area a little bit this episode, but then yeah, I think this this will be probably the last episode. Barring some like horrible, horrible disaster, like a tornado ripping through town, and I really hope I'm not jinxing it by saying that. Um, I think we're going to be okay. We've we got <coughs> we banished <laughs> we were banished from our like original community with what four families, and look at us now. We've got huge sprawling towns, lovely, lovely farms, like livestock pastures. I think we're doing okay for ourselves. So yeah, maybe we'll come back to it, maybe we'll visit it with the um, the Colonial Expansion mod. Uh, or maybe we'll go for one of the achievements, like the uh, the Mountain Men achievement. Which is for um, <coughs> starting in a like a small, harsh, mountainous climate, and managing to uh, uh, get to a certain population. Which is harder than it sounds. So here we had plenty of like forestry and stuff to uh, keep us going, we had all of these hunting and gathering. In a mountainous climate, it's a lot, lot harder. But that'll be fine. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, so, uh, let's put these chickens. And... Let's put these chickens. How many chickens have we got? I think that'll be plenty. 30 there. 30 there. Oop, potentially 40 there. That's 100. 24. And 43. So maybe some another chicken pasture, just one. Just one. We'll put it behind the church, perhaps. Uh, pasture, pasture, pasture. Because all of our other pastures are quite big, except for our chicken pastures. So I, I kind of want just one massive chicken pasture. Something like that. And I bet we won't be able to fit in a well uh, just there, because wells are technically 3x3, three three, even if one of them's only road. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame, because be, that would be a nice spot for one. How, do we have any wells around here? It actually doesn't look like it, so mm, yeah, we do need to put one somewhere. I think we'll pop one there. I say need to, we've not really had an issue with fire yet, and again, I hope I'm not jinxing it horribly by saying that, but it's true, we've been... Uh, I don't know about lucky, but we've been alright. You guys are still producing stuff. Oh, we've got zero students over here. That's interesting. Why have we got zero students? I guess... Hmm. Oh, there's a student here. I wonder where they're commuting to. Hmm. How peculiar. Oh no, that's right, because we've got a, um, a schoolhouse just here. We put uh, two in this town, because we sort of were planning for future expansion. I think we have another two down here. we got one there. And... No, that's all of them there. Oh no, there's one over here as well. That's right, we wanted to be doubly sure that everyone was getting a, uh, a good education. I think we probably would be at 100% uh, education if uh, we check our thing. Population. Nope. Citizens. E education. is blue one. Oh, so actually, no, we've never reached 100. So I was going to say, oh yeah, we'd 
would definitely be at 100 if it wasn't for um, we keep getting influxes of nomads, which uh, bring the bring the um, the overall percentage down. But no, we've never actually reached it. That's a bit of a shame. So maybe if if I were to carry this on, I would sort of keep expanding without uh, without welcoming any more nomads for a little bit just to get to that 100%. Because I'm pretty sure there's probably an achievement for that. Uh, how are you getting along? You're almost done? Almost. Um, I guess we could construct this tunnel as well, just uh, just because. Because we've got lo loads of builders, loads of resources, nothing for them to do, so... In the event of uh, not having much to do, you start a load of civic projects, right? That's how it works. We're going to put some huge tunnels through these mountains for no other reason than to keep all of our idle uh, builders busy. Ooh, hey, we got an achievement for having uh, um, uh, livestock. So that's that's why we were putting in loads more chickens. So technically we don't need this one. But I'm going to anyway, because chickens are great. And, you know, if we ever are ever going to expand further, let's check our food. How's our food doing? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that huge uh, peak and then the equally huge crash after it. So it is. it does look like it is slowly going up. Um... But yeah, we probably want a little bit more security before I go totally crazy uh, again. Um, what are you trading? I mean, again, we've got... Actually, let's let's get some stone. It'll save us uh, with quarries, so 1,400 units. Uh, so that's... 70 coats? Hooray! Look at me doing math first thing in the morning. Uh, do we want coal? Not really. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Because again, we don't need to trade for the stone. We have, I mean, fields and fields that are like that we could put quarries down. But quarries are ugly. They sort of turn into these dirty great holes when we're done with them. So, the more stone we trade for, the more uh, picturesque we can keep our um, our village. And not just picturesque. Obviously, with this whacking great hole here, we can't put any houses here or farms or anything like that. But we are sort of. Um, producing enough stuff that we can very easily sort of say, okay, right, that's it, we're done. No more quarries. We'll reserve all of this for farms and stuff. And I think ideally that's probably what I will do. Because obviously also when you get to the stage where you've expanded most, almost everywhere, then you don't need uh, as much stone. Because you're not building quite as often. Here we go, this tunnel's uh, getting done. Hmm. How are these tunnels over here getting along? Oh, oh no, they... I was going to say they've not been started, but they've actually been finished. Wow. I am colour me impressed. So are people using them? That's the question. And it looks like they actually are. Can we... Uh, connect that properly. And, you know, while we're here, let's uh, just add a little bit of a road, sort of from here to here. Like that. And like that. Again, none of these are strictly necessary, but but now we have time on our hands. We're sort of free to... Whoa! Oh, dear. Okay, so... I'm kind of glad this is planning on being the last episode, because, wow, look at that. There is a tornado. <laughs> Suddenly a whole bunch of uh, unnatural deaths are up. Something's gone horribly, horribly wrong. So, one, two, three, four, five, six people just instantly killed when this tornado just landed straight in the middle of our town. Okay. Let's... Uh, I really don't want to unpause it. It's going to spoil everything. Um, all right, let's let's see where it goes because it's it's right in the middle. If it goes off this way, it'll be okay. Oh no! Don't destroy the bridge. No. Oh no. Oh, oh wow! Look at that. That's a lot of people though that are being killed off by this. There go some houses. I mean. 
like this is still horrible and devastating, but at least it's not in the middle of um, like the middle of town. Wow. That's right. It's going over the mountain. That's fine. Yeah, you you go that way. No, don't come back. Okay. Okay. So I think that was at technically our first disaster. Uh, and while it wasn't totally terrible, I mean, it did. Um, it destroyed a fishing dock and a house. Oop, a barn. But not the quarry or the pasture. It did sort of. I mean, all of this was forested a moment ago. But all of that's gone now. Hmm. I mean, it wasn't as devastating as it could have been, but still, that wasn't pleasant. But yeah, if you imagine uh, something like that touching down sort of right over here, or even over here and sort of, or probably even worse, sort of going right through all of these farms, wouldn't necessarily cause uh, as great a loss of life in the short term, but in the long term that'd be very dangerous indeed. In fact, let's have a look at our, um, our town hall it's population. Uh, there's only a small dip. Yeah, there's just a little dip. I mean, given the scale of this, that's actually relatively significant, but still. Oh dear, that was unpleasant. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully we won't get another one of those in this episode. But, I mean, luckily we had that, um... Backlog, I guess, of labourers who've been able to step in and, uh... Fill all of those empty jobs. Hmm. Got another trader? What do you want? It's a bit snowy. You want more stone? Yeah, sure. We'll take some more stone. Uh, another 70 coats. And speaking of stone, not stone, speaking of coats, where is my tailors? Uh, so the limit's 400. I think I'm going to increase this. I mean, I could increase it almost indefinitely. Uh, how many tools do we have over here? 200? Yeah, I think we can happily increase that as well. Cool, there we go. We we'll even have 200 ale. Lovely. Again, not that we super desperately need those. Why are you, um, you're, so you're a fisherman, but you don't have a job because your uh, your place of business was somewhat destroyed by an act of God. But that's okay. We're gonna. It's all. It just needs one other builder to come along and just bop it with a hammer. Come on. Who's it gonna be? Come on. It's 99% complete, guys. Just just come over. Just tap in that final nail. No? Really? Uh, if I... Is there a way of jumping to the builders? Yeah, there we go. Here, here they come. Bop, there we go. Lovely. That's interesting. Why are there only three or four fishermen when it says 56 or 50? Ah, okay. You just hadn't realised that his place had um, been um, rebuilt. It took him a second. Oh, here are our uh, foresters replanting all of these trees that got knocked down. See, we're an eco-friendly village over here. Uh, oh, that's a good point. That road got uh, destroyed as well. We should um, pop that back in. Anything else get uh, horribly, horribly destroyed? No, we were very, very lucky with that, I think. Good. I'm really pleased the bridge made it, because that would have been more irritating to fix than uh, um, than disastrous, but still. I'm quite pleased with this tunnel. I'm actually super pleased with how fast it um, uh, got built, because that's a really long tunnel. Like, given that we just have a couple of people with, like, pickaxes, that is very impressive. Good work. Um, I guess we'll throw down a couple more houses as well. Uh, we'll keep flashing out this area over here. 
How much stone have we got left? Ooh, somebody died of a weak heart. It's sort of rare you actually see that. Normally it's just old, like generic old age. I wonder if there's something we could do about that. Maybe give them uh, more exercise, more fresh vegetables. I don't know. Another trader. Oops, seeds. Don't really need seeds from you. Dismiss. There we go. You can. Uh, do you want to stay for a mug of ale? No, you've got places to be. Okay, fine. Running low on um, apple still, but got a fair amount of uh, cider. No, ale. There we go. These are all getting harvested. Lovely. Hmm, our labourers are dropping actually. We've got a couple of people not sort of dying of old age. That's the other problem with sort of the sudden population booms, is that everyone sort of dies of old age at the same time, which leaves quite a void in uh, new workers. It's why you don't really want to just throw down like 60 houses in one go, you want to sort of do it gradually over time. Because that way you don't cause like horrible food emergencies, but you also don't cause these um, periods where people uh, just all sort of get very old at the same time. Uh, I mean, I guess we could um, unpause these, give our builders something to do. Because again, we've got resources piling up and nothing to do with them. It will technically cause um, some people to start working here and carrying stuff over when it's not needed, but we'll we'll just say we're you know future future proofing it for when we put down some houses over there as well. I think it does look really nice though. Maybe not so much in autumn when all of these trees are a bit um, uh well not dead, but you know not uh, not in full leaf. Though I do like the way the shaders work on this. They're sort of like the way they sort of. Um, Draw the leaves over time looks really, really nice. There we go, a bunch more adults. Hmm. So you're still working, you're still producing clothes, that's good. Technically slightly short on clothes, or rather our um, surplus is a little bit low. We've still got plenty of uh, stuff for people to wear. Those chickens are very, very noisy, aren't they? We'll come over here instead. Farms, farms are quiet. All of these are um, not super full, but ooh, in fact that one's totally empty. Hmm. Oh, that's right, we wanted to put down some bridges, didn't we, a while back. I mean, we could just put a bridge over every single um, every single spot, just because we can. Make it uh, look like the Venice of wherever. Ooh, wait, hang on, who are you and why aren't you working? You are a stone cutter. Ah, that quarry has uh, the limit has been reached. So we will deconstruct. Where are you? Uh, remove building. We'll deconstruct this. Um, and then just because the quarry is already there, we'll. Oh no, you're being worked. Did we put one over here? No. Ah, okay. We we have. Spare stonemasons, then, I guess. Because, yeah, I don't really want to put down any more quarries, so we'll, um. I don't know, we'll drop. I guess I'll leave two of you around as spares. It does mean we're going to have floating question marks sort of running around, but. Nah, we'll just put you on 30. There's no need to have um, spares. We've got plenty of labourers to do that for us. Hmm. Oh, another trader. So maybe here we'll be able to... Nope, no stone from you. Oh no, we do have some stone. Uh, 70 more coats. Because coats are a sustainable good. Uh, and stone is not. Somebody else can have horrible, horrible... Um, um, big holes all over their lovely village, but it won't be us. Uh, you know what, I've got so many labourers free, let's make some of them vendors. We're going to need to increase it a little bit more even when we uh, finish with this market, but that's not a problem. And we'll start putting in these roads as well. And another one this side. Oop, there's a little bit of a 
loop there. There we go. And can we fit it up this way? No, because that's in the way. And we'll put one here. And we'll just sort of connect this like that. There, lovely. So at some point we'll maybe expand there as well. Add another 12 vendors. Again, gainful employment. This is the old story about in the Soviet Union it took um, something like six different workers to sell a piece of meat just because everyone had to have a job. I have no idea how true that is, but it's certainly what we're going for here. We've got 12 people working at each market when I'm pretty sure we could get by with just two. Is it 12 or six? Yeah, 12 people. Slightly unnecessary, but you know. Um, hmm. Nomads. How many nomads? 71. No. I'm still not sold that our food uh, situation is totally fine, and I do. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's over one year. Okay, so over the last five years it has been increasing, so we can probably still slowly expand, but I'd rather keep it slightly more slow, slightly more regular than just crazily um, uh, crazily building, like uh, getting 70 nomads at once, there we go, that was the word I was looking for. There's technically a road there. Let's get rid of that, so we can actually put down some uh, where are we? There. We can put down another house. And just squeeze one in there. Come on, somebody get rid of that. Alright, fine. Take your time. I don't mind, I'm not in a rush or anything. In fact, I'm really not. There is no real reason to rush, and that's what I like about Managed. It's so relaxing when you don't have horrible, whacking great tornadoes tearing through your village. Tempted to put down another orchard. Probably another apple orchard, in fact, so we get a couple more um, barrels of cider. Again, not that they're really needed, but there you go. It's the way I play most of my games. I do things because, like, because they look cool or I think they're fun, rather than because they're like a super optimal way of playing. And I think that's a reasonably good way to play, or at least it's the way I enjoy playing. So yeah, we could fill all of this with houses as well. In fact, let's put a few houses down here as well. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Lovely. And given that we're so far away from the river, we should probably saturate this town as much as we can with wells. Uh, town, well, 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 well. Yes, I am going to keep making that joke, and no, I'm not even sorry. And we've got a trader, so we might as well see what they want. Hmm, iron. Um, no, I think we're okay. I think I'll get the leather just because that seems to be a little bit of a bottleneck. In fact, that's more expensive than the stone, was it? That's weird. No, it can't have been. Can it? Uh, 50? There we go. Because we'll turn those into woolen coats, and then we will um, sell them for a profit, because we've got loads and loads of wool, because we have loads and loads of sheep. We are sort of encroaching on all of the forested areas a little bit, which is why the leather seems to be a bit of a, um, a bottleneck for this. But they're still producing a goodish number. So previous season you made 16 leather, this season 20, so if we, sorry, 22, so if we average it out and call it about 20, that was maybe five seasons worth of leather that we just bought, so that's not a terrible amount at all. You're doing okay over here? Yeah, still plenty of room over there. Should maybe build another church somewhere. Yeah, you're all close to full, but not actually full. You've got plenty of room for students as well, which is good. 
I guess we'll put another one down here, because why not? And I guess technically a graveyard as well. Again, it's taking up, strictly speaking, valuable real estate away from the uh, uh, from the town itself. So I'm going to move the graveyard out here. You know, it's a sort of lovely, it's a slightly more rural cemetery. It's near the trees, it's going to be nice. It's, yeah, I like that. Also, we're technically going to gather all of this iron as a result. Um, I guess let's put down some more houses over here as well. If nothing else, so the people building the town have somewhere to live. And again, I'm doing this thing where I say, oh, I won't expand uh, in a huge burst all at once, and then absolutely do exactly that. But, you know, it's fine. Ooh, we've got another infestation. Is it this one? Is it our apples again? It looks like it. Let's cut those down and hope it doesn't spread. Uh, and then because technically that was a disaster, time has dropped, so we'll just boost that up again. Uh, you know what, I'll even increase the, uh, the clergy a little bit ahead of time for no real reason. Um, we'll put some more town services in here. I guess we could put a hospital, though I don't think we really need it. We'll put a schoolhouse, though. And we'll put a couple more houses, because why not? Well, I've already said many, many times why not. Why that's a terrible idea. But I'm going to do it anyway, damn you. Because it gives our builders something to do, and more importantly, it gives me something to do. In terms of both actually building the stuff, and then fixing everything when it all goes horribly wrong later. See, we're getting towards what would normally be the end of the episode, but I, I'm going to keep going for just a little bit longer, because it is going to be the last one. So, we'll, ju we'll just keep going just a, just a tiny bit longer. It's the problem with um, most games, particularly uh, like Sid Meier games, you always want to just play that tiny bit longer. Oh, it looks so lovely, doesn't it? It's such a lovely place to live. I think we can be proud of the city that we've built here. Bringing uh, a bunch of food. No, oh, I think we're okay. We are okay on food now, despite maybe some of these blights and stuff. Hmm, where are you all going? In such a hurry. You are a stone cut Ah, you're commuting to work here. So perhaps we could put a couple extra houses sort of just in this area, because there are quite a lot of jobs. I mean, there are 15 people working here uh, alone, so... Let's put in just a couple of houses. Technically, they'll um, they'll have further to walk to commute to their um, their uh, to get their supplies because they're not within the uh, area of a market. But they'll have much less to commute when they're doing their actual job. Even though this quarry is going to be temporary, it doesn't really matter. I see some of this is uh, brassing back up. I don't know if any of this will. I think this is all bare stone. Maybe it, it will never grow back. Let's have a look. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. This one is our oldest quarry, and that certainly doesn't seem to have. Hmm. Collecting all that food in good time. It's only late summer, and we're already uh, harvesting a lot of that stuff. It's pretty good. Yep. Food's still steadily increasing, but if we go back to... So there was our sort of overall high, and we are almost reaching that stage again. So we will we will keep slowly expanding to try and sort of uh, not get it to taper off, but to sort of get it to stabilise a bit. Yep. Add a new uh, teacher there as well. Here we go, a bunch of people moving in here. Wow, they're at, so all of these couples are relatively old, so they're. Um, these are people that have been living with their parents this whole time, presumably, and haven't had a place to move out of their own, which means, yeah, we're going to have one of those ageing populations. So hopefully we'll, we'll um, encourage them to have a few more kids so there's sort of people to take up the reins after we leave here. It's getting a little bit snowy. see again we're getting like I was just saying we're getting this um, whole slew of people uh, unfortunately dying of old age all at the same time 
Oh dear. So still not many people moved into town here yet. I mean, people have moved in, but they haven't needed to. Oh, we've got one person. This entire chapel just for one person. So that's keeping them happy. Good. The reserve of food is low. The reserve of food is not low. Don't tell me that. It's because everyone has just grabbed all of this food. Wow, look at all of that different food. They have a very well-stocked larder. Merchant. There's a trading post. It's up here, isn't it? You're bringing a whole bunch more food as well. There we go. So we're back to about 500 people, I think that is. Let's have a look at our population graph. Yeah, it is sort of. It is definitely dipping. We had this huge uh, influx of um, nomads. And then it very, it kept on growing relatively quickly, but now we're sort of, we've sort of gone over the peak of this population boom, and it is trailing off right now. So we do actually want to encourage growth. That's the thing, just not the crazy rapid growth that I tend to do. But we'll put a, a couple more houses down, just a couple. What could be the harm in it? here. We could put down another blacksmith and another, um, what's the word, uh, tailor's place, but I think we're actually going to be okay with the ones we've got. Maybe I could put down a woodcutter actually, and a stockpile, that would be a sensible thing to put down. Uh, is there anywhere that we can sort of squeeze it in? Sort of behind the school maybe? Yeah, I think that'll do there. And a woodcutter. Just to make sure everyone has firewood here. Can't quite tuck that in there. It's a bit of a shame. How about just here? No. Sorry, I can go just here. Perfect. Alright. Miner was killed in a cave-in. It's a bit of a shame. So yeah, we are... I mean, not running super low on labourers, but enough that I am going to... Just put our builders down a little bit. So we still have excess builders, but now we we have a very healthy surplus of uh, labourers again. And there we go. We've got a whole bunch of um, people graduating from uh, school who are now uh, working efficiently. Good. Let's see. Oh, these houses all got built. That's lovely. So, yeah, we've got some people who've moved in. Ah, they're starting new families. Lovely. So they are going to be the next generation of Mulber Mulberanites? Mulberians? I don't know. But in any case, I am going to end this video, and indeed this series, right here. So thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this series, because I've really enjoyed playing it. Uh, and hopefully we'll come back and visit Banished uh, another time, even if it's not, uh, not particularly this city. But we will definitely come back to it, I think, one day. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I have been Landrick, and I will see you next time.